So today let's start with a problem in which the cation as well as the anion both are complex in nature. I am giving you an example of tetraamine platinum 2 and tetrachlorocuprate 2. You can find that this name comprises two parts. The first part tetraamine platinum 2 is the cation and tetrachlorocuprate 2 later one is the anion. So let's name the cationic part first. So we have the central metal in the cationic part which is platinum symbol PT then we'll try to find the ligand here you can find the ligand is amine and amine we know is ammonia NH3 now number of amine molecules here number of ligands is tetra you can find tetra is 4 so let's try to formulate this part of the complex so we'll put a square bracket first followed by the name of central metal the formula pt then the ligand here ligand is ammonia it's to be kept in parenthesis now we have subscript 4 and on this complex we will have some sort of positive charge let's represent that by x now let's calculate what x should be equal to we know that x is equal to the oxidation state of platinum plus the oxidation state of ammonia multiplied by the number of times ammonia appears in this very complex oxidation state of platinum as you can find from the name is plus 2 and oxidation state of ammonia because it's a neutral species is 0 so the overall charge on the complex x is plus 2 therefore we can write the formula of first part of the complex pt nh3 whole 4 2 plus this part forms the cationic part of the complex now let's go to the anionic part here the anionic part is tetrachlorocuprate so this is the anionic part the first part was the cationic part so let's try to write the formula for tetrachlorocuprate so i'll write the name first tetrachlorocuprate 2 so you can tell the central metal in this case the central metal in this case is copper the ligands here are chloro chloro you know is Cl minus and chloro ligand appears four times you can see the numerical prefix before chloro is tetra tetra means four so what should should be the formula of this very part so we'll start by writing the square bracket then we'll write the central metal that's copper followed by ligand at cl and in subscript we'll write the number of such ligands it will also have some sort of negative charge so let's calculate this x here x is equal to oxidation state of copper which you can find in the name is plus 2 plus we have oxidation state of chloride ions into 4 because there are 4 of them so let's do it oxidation state of copper is given in the name is plus 2 and that for chloride is minus 1 times 4 so after calculation we find the total charge on this anionic part is minus 2 so it's actually CuCl4 2 minus <coughs> now let's try to bring the cations and anions together first we'll write the cationic part the cationic part which we have just formulated is Pt NH3 whole 4 2 plus and anionic part anionic part is 
Cu Cl4 2 minus. Now look at the charges on two parts. In the first case, the charge is plus 2 and in the second case, it's minus 2. So that means the charges are equal. We can simply write the entire formula of the complex like this Pt NH3 whole 4 CuCl4. This forms the formula of the coordination complex. Now let's move on to the next example. In this we have aluminium tetrachloroate. The oxidation state of the gold orate is 3. Now the aluminium here forms the first part that is the cationic part and tetrachloroate the anionic part. And you can see that anionic part here forms the coordination sphere. Now let's try to first write the formula of the coordination sphere. You can see the central metal in this case is orate which is the Latin name of gold that's aurum to which eight has been added. The ligand in this case is chloro you can see chloro means Cl negative and number of chloride ions here which act as ligand is tetra and tetra we know is 4. So let's try to write the formula of the coordination sphere. So what we do is we put a square bracket the name of the metal that's gold AU symbol Cl4 with the charge of let's suppose x. Let's try to calculate x. We know that x is equal to the oxidation state of gold that's AU plus oxidation state of all the chloride ions here which is minus 1 times 4. So oxidation state of gold as is given in its IUPAC name is 3 and that for chloride is minus 1 times 4. So after calculation we find that this complex has an overall charge of minus 1. So I'll write the formula AuCl4 minus. Now to balance this negative charge we must have some sort of cation and in this case as the name suggests the cation is aluminium and all of us know aluminium when as a cation exhibits a charge of plus 3. So aluminium is th plus 3, 3 plus and the complex part is minus 1. So you can easily see to balance three positive charges we must have the complex part three times. So the simple way of writing this is Al1 AuCl4 thrice or you can simply see the charge on the cation part is written as subscript on anion and charge on anion is written as subscript on the cation without showing the charge only the magnitude. So I have Al AuCl4 whole thrice. This becomes the formula for aluminium tetrachloroate 3. Now dear students, let's go to one more example of the same type in which both the cation as well as anion are complex in nature. The example is hexaamine Now dear students, let's go to one more example of the same type in which both the cation as well as anion are complex in nature. The example is hexaamine nickel to diamine tetrachloro 
cobaltate 3 now you can see the first part here this is the cation and second part here is the anion so what we do is we shall start with the cation first we'll name the cation first with the form date the cation first so inside the cation you find the central metal is nickel so i'll start directly by writing the formula coordination sphere we have the central metal nickel it is surrounded by amine as the ligand and amine all of us know is ammonia nh3 and the numerical prefix here is hexa which means six now this complex will have a positive charge which i can represent as x now what is this x equal to we know that this x is equal to the oxidation state of this nickel as you can find it's given here in the name that's plus two so oxidation state of nickel is two and ammonia all of us know is neutral it has an oxidation state of zero so x after calculation you can find comes out to be plus two therefore the formula for this cationic part becomes it becomes ni nh3 whole 6 2 plus this is the cationic part now let's go to the anion let's go to the anion in this part you can find the cobaltate suggests that the central metal is cobalt so i'll write cobalt as central metal it is surrounded by two types of ligands the first name is amine then second name is chloro amine we know is nh3 and chloro we know is cl minus so because we have to write the anions first so i'll go with chloro first so it is cl because chloro you can find its tetra means four of them so i'll write cl4 and amine afterwards that's nh3 amine is two times you can see the numerical prefix di which means two so i'll write two in the subscript now this complex will have some sort of positive charge let's represent that by uh, let's sorry negative charge let's represent that by y so here you know that y is equal to the oxidation state of cobalt that if you can find it in the name is plus 3 here so for cobalt i'll write plus 3 chloride all of us know have an oxidation state of minus 1 so i'll write minus 1 into 4 of them i'll write 4 plus ammonia we know is neutral so i'll write 0 times 2 so y should be equal to 3 minus 4 the answer is minus 1 so writing the formula for this part would be like this so i'll write here i'll write it here that is an ionic part will be co cl4 then we have nh3 twice with a charge of minus one so you can see that this part forms the cationic part and this part forms the anionic part so let's try to bring them closer and find the overall formula of the complex so the rule is that we write the cation first so let me write the cation first the cation here is this part that is ni nh3 whole 6 we have 2 plus so now let's write the anion now let's write the anion so anion here you can see is co cl4 nh3 twice with 
1 minus. Now, how do we write the overall formula? The simplest way of doing this is simply you take this charge and write it in the subscript of the anion and you take this charge and write it in the subscript of the cation. Without the charges, you have to simply write the magnitude of the charges. So the formula should appear like this. We have now Ni NH3 equal 6 because we have to write 1 and next is CO CL4 NH3 whole twice this is 2 this becomes the overall formula of the compound Now, dear students, the next example we are going to do is dichlorobis ethylene diamine cobalt 3 chloride. So, first things first, we'll try to find the central metal. Here, you can find the central metal is cobalt, symbol CO. Now, it's the turn for ligands, and you can easily find from the name there are two types of ligands. The first ligand that appears in the name is chloro that you know is Cl minus and another is ethylene diamine I'm highlighting it ethylene diamine you must remember that ethylene diamine is a neutral bidentate ligand represented by En now let's try to find the number of ligands of each type so if you look at the name before chloro we have the prefix di which means two and before ethylene diamine we have bis that again means two so let's write the formula of the compound but we must first of all know the order of writing the ligands and you remember it's anionic ligand that's written first followed by neutral followed by cationic so let's start writing the formula We'll start with a square bracket. So this is Cl minus and this is ethylene diamine. Square bracket. The central metal is cobalt. I'll write the Cl first because they are two in number. Then we'll write ethylene diamine. That again with a two in the subscript. The complex has a charge X. Let's calculate X. What's X equal to? It's equal to the oxidation state of all the species present inside the coordination sphere. That means the central metal and all the ligands. For cobalt, as the name suggests, it's plus 3. For chloride, it's minus 1. And ethylene diamine is a neutral molecule. It has 0. So calculating, we get the value of X equal to plus 1. So this is an example of a cationic complex. Now to balance this positive charge on the complex, we have the chloride ion as the counter ion. Because they have equal and opposite charges, we can write the overall formula like this.